In the last video, I showed you an example of the path and how every time you would try to look for the Java executable, it would search the path until it found the correct one. The class path is a similar concept, except it's Java specific. In other words, you give the class path a bunch of directories and when your Java program is running, it looks in those directories for different resources. Like class files, XML files, whatever your Java program needs to run, it's going to look in the class path. Let me show you a quick demo of this. So take a look at these two Java files. We have hello.java and name.java. Now the only thing I want you to be concerned with here is that hello.java has a dependency on name. Now that's just a fancy way of saying that in order for hello to work, at least name has to work. And together, these two files are just going to output a little message saying, hello, John. Now, I realize I haven't explained the code to you yet, so maybe looking at this might be a bit confusing. But the purpose of this video is just to explain the class path for you. So for now, just don't get too lost in all of this. Just try to keep that simple concept in your head. And maybe later on, when you've done a few more videos and this makes sense, you can come back to this video and you'll have a better understanding of what's going on here. So right now, the class path is set to the current directory because that's where I am. So if I type in uh, Java C hello. Oh, sorry. And what that means is that I need to specify the .java extension. That should have compiled my two classes, hello.class and name.class, because the class path searched for everything in here and did what it needed to do when I typed in Java C. And if I run Java, I think it's going to be pretty obvious what will happen. I go, hello. Well, look at that, my message. Hello, John, which is exactly what we expected. Hello, John. Hello, John. So let's clear this for now. And let's delete these class files from here. I'm going to get rid of this and get rid of this. And now let's work some black magic here. I'm going to take this name.java and I'm going to move it to this folder I created earlier. Look at this, like a cooking show. So if I go back on myself here and try to execute the same command, java c, hello java. Oh, look at that. It can't find what name is. This is what this means. It doesn't know what name is. And why would it? Because we're no longer in here. Well, we are in here, but like name.java isn't in here. Because it's in here. So I need to somehow tell the compiler that the location of name.java has changed or at least tell it a new location to look for resources. Another fancy word for things you need. So I'll copy that. Nearly execute the same command I did before, except this time I'm going to add in the dash cp option, which is another way of saying class path. I mean, because I can do class path, but I kind of like these uh, abbreviated options. It's quicker to type. Press space and press enter. Okay, looks like it's done something. So let's check the folders. There's my name.class, which is interesting because I, I'm not in this folder when I executed this. And if I look in here, you'll see hello.class as well. Well, that seems pretty handy. I mean, that means I should just be able to act or to call Java on hello like this. Well, you'd be wrong. If I did that correctly. Because they're not actually magically linked right now. When I run Java, it doesn't know about my resources in the name folder. So I'll have to do something like this. I'll have to go Java dash CP and I'm going to open up my two colons here colons commas two du double quotes double quotes sorry and i'm going to type in the uh well i'm going to first of all call the current directory because i want to look at here that's what dot means it means current directory and i'm going to paste in the location of uh, the name class which is in the name folder and i'm going to have my class name here that i'm trying to run on the end here i'm going to press enter and look at that hello john 